Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I wanted to bring you guys the ultimate guide on progressing in the game with the removal of totems. Uh, so first things first, guys, I do want to say that the number one thing to consider is that you are always having fun in this game. Um, yes, this is going to be a guide on how to efficiently do things, but if you aren't having fun, you don't have to do it, guys. At the end of the day, this is a game and it is meant to be played to have fun. So if you're doing certain things in the game and you're finding them not fun, don't push them. Uh, just enjoy the game, enjoy what you're doing. But for the people who don't have as much time, but they still want to progress efficiently and they want to do things effectively, this will be a good video for you guys. So step one, think about what class you like to play. Um, and there's a few things that you can do to go about this. You can get ideas from YouTube videos by watching gameplay of certain classes. Uh, you can also go to Twitch streamers and kind of ask them questions on certain classes and have them give you their thoughts and opinions. Uh, if a class is good, if it's bad, if it takes a lot of funding, if it's a good bosser. And then also you want to think about, do you want to play a class that is good with bossing? If it's a good mobbing class, is it a support class? Uh, or if it's just kind of a hybrid of everything altogether. But those are some things that you want to consider before you actually pick a main. Uh, kind of think about just what you enjoy the most and then go from there. So step number two, again, kind of the same concept. There are going to be a few options here as well, and there's no better way to do things. There just are a few options. So option number one, you can play the class that you thought you would have enjoyed playing uh, and you can train it up to level 200 or above 200 uh, right away, right from the get go without doing any kind of legion. Or if you want, you can go and start right away by working on your legion and links and you can kind of get a feel uh, for the characters that you make through that process and see if any of those are a class that you kind of enjoy playing um, and then from there you can kind of decide, okay, is this a class that I want to play and that I want to main? Uh, because you definitely do, starting off, want to make a class that you enjoy playing and you don't want to have to double down and go back and create a new main. So make sure the main that you make uh, is a class that you like. Uh, and I do also want to note that if it comes to the point where, you know, you make a class, you train it up to 220, you thought you wanted to play it, and then you end up finding out that you don't really enjoy the class too much, it's never a loss, guys. Uh, you can always go back, make a new main. At the end of the day, it can always become a bossy mule or... At very least, it will just benefit your legion, so never think that you wasted time. That's the one good thing about MapleStory is that everything that you do always is going to benefit your account, so never get too upset about anything like that or moving backwards. So step number three, once you've kind of established what your main is and you've kind of worked on a few links in legion and you're probably sitting around 1k legion and you have most of your level one or two links done, I would say go work on training your main up to anywhere from 225 to 235. The reason why it's really beneficial to get your character to this point and this is why it's such a great stopping point is because now you can work on all your arcane river dailies uh, and help progress your character and your main's arcane force which is going to allow you to one shot mobs easier in the future and also it's just going to increase your main's damage by a ton and it also gives you a little bit of a break doing the links in the legion as well so now that you've gotten your character up to about 235 you can take a little bit of a break from training your main if you want to and to go back and start working on your legion again um, i would say for step number four you can now work towards getting anywhere from around 4 to 6k legion. I always recommend you get to 4k legion. It unlocks that crit damage area in the legion page and just overall benefits your account the most. You can definitely push higher in legion if you want to, but MapleStory is a very grindy game. So I always recommend people taking things in smaller steps and breaking things up so you don't get burnt out and bored doing like the same monotonous thing. So if you want to only get to 4k legion, that's totally fine. You can get to 4k and then take a break. MapleStory is all about doing things in chunks and blocks and keeping the game fun and fresh. You don't want to do the same thing over and over and over and over again. So step number five, once you've hit 4k legion, you can now start to like work on training your main to level 250 to 255. Um, again, this is all dependent on if you want to, you can push the legion further, but I recommend once you've gotten your legion to round four to 6k, you probably are good to go to go and train your main to 250 to 255. The reason why it's really, really nice to get your character and your main to 250 to 255 is because now you can start working on getting that arcane gear and working on finding parties for lucid and will and eventually getting your full set of arcanes. So step six, once you've gotten your main to 250 to 255, 
there's a few options that you can do from here. Um, no one is better than the other. This is kind of a spot in the game where you can kind of pick and choose what you want to do. So I'll kind of just go through those options for you. So option number one, you could definitely start working on boss mules if and only if though the nodes on your main are at least like level 20 and above. Uh, the biggest thing and the most challenging thing with boss mules is having enough nodes for them. The more nodes you have, the less money and funding it's going to take you, which means it's going to be the less time needed to grind on your main to fund those bossy mules. So I definitely would only, only, only recommend making boss mules if your nodes are good enough level and you're happy with your main's progression. If you want to progress your main more and you don't have it and your nodes aren't maxed, definitely, definitely don't go to making boss mules until that's done. Uh, you can definitely start leveling up boss mules during like events and we have the hyper burn coming up and different terror burns but never prioritize boss mules over your main they're always meant to benefit your main so never put priority over your main when it comes to boss mules so option number two you can now start working on like getting from six to eight k legion and finishing up that aspect of it i think that going from six to eight k legion the most beneficial way of doing it is waiting for certain bonk events and exp events like we have right now with the night troop but at the end of the day it's always whatever you want to do i personally enjoy training legion a ton but i did it during night troop and during other bonking events doing an off event is definitely much harder than doing an on event so my recommendation is only do this option if there's an event that's going to benefit legion otherwise hold off from six to eight k it's a ton of time if there isn't an event eating you uh, so option number three is you can continue to train your main past 255 into level 260 265 270 this is going to help you farm a bunch of nodes misos and droplets for your main and boss mules and there's definitely no negative effect to doing this uh, some people may say stay in limb as long as possible and getting boss fams again the options always yours i personally would recommend stay in limina as long as possible on getting boss fams and also just because the money is so good there as well but again, it's always up to you and it's always whatever decision you want to make that you enjoy the most. So don't ever think that there's a right decision or option to do here because this is definitely a challenging point in the game. Progression slows down a ton and it starts to take more and more time to make certain progressions. So don't rush this point. Just enjoy the process. Have fun with what you're doing and just enjoy it. So now we get to step number seven. Guys, if you've made it to step number seven in the game, you already know what you probably want to work on next. But there's a few options that you are probably deciding on. Probably either 21 to 22 star in your main, funding boss mules, funding a second main, min-maxing your current main. Uh, there's a ton of options, but at the end of the day, you guys know what you want to do. Uh, you definitely don't need me to tell you at this point uh, in the quote-unquote guide. You make that decision on your own. So I think the biggest change that the removal of totems is going to make for most players is that making boss mules is going to be a lot harder, but it's obviously going to still be a possibility to do. Um, my main importance to anybody who's watching this guide is to make sure that your main is at a spot where you're comfortable and you're happy with. Don't rush into the boss mules. Farming is definitely still very good even without totem. I did it a ton on my main. I did it at 250, at 240. And I did it from 275 to 280. I did all the off totem training guys. So I understand hearing it from somebody who is at a point of quote unquote end game isn't the best opinion, but I've been there. I understand it sucks. So moving forward, just do your best and just enjoy the process. And again, guys, I did want to add at the end of the video, there is no right way to play this game. This is a guide in terms of the efficient thing to do and how to progress in the game for people who like to do things most efficiently at the end of the day this is just a game and you should only be doing what you enjoy and what you find most fun so if you're listening to this guide and you're watching this guide and you're like well i don't think any of this is fun or i don't think that this step is fun or blah blah, blah don't do it there's no need to do any step in this guide if you don't want to do it i'm always an advocate for people playing this game uh, the way that they want to play it. So if there's some steps in here that you don't enjoy or that you don't want to do or you think that You know, they shouldn't be in here Don't do them And if you think that there's anything that I should add into this guide or if there's anything that you guys want to add in the comment section Please, please let me know it helps me and my brother make more videos in the future It could bouncing off of you guys's comments and it also helps people in the comment section below, but for now That is going to wrap up 
the video. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And like I said earlier, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below and I will reply to them all. But for now, I will see you guys later. Take it easy. Peace. And remember, enjoy playing the game. Have fun with what you got. If you guys have questions, let me know. Peace.